है एवरी वन वेलकम बैक फ्रॉम द चैनल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एफ एस आर थ्री वीडियो मैनी पीपल्स हैव बिन रिक्वेस्टिंग दिस गेम्स एफ एस आर थ्री दिस इज साइलेंट वेल्ड टू आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन इट अंटिल दिस फेलो डिस्कॉड मेम्बर जस्ट पॉप्ट अप ऑन माई डी एम एंड शोड मी सम ट्रिक्स टू मेक इट वर्क ऑल दो हिज कोड हैड सम इशूज बट आई मैनेज टू फिक्स दैट Uh, so yeah also this games uh, cut scenes are limited to only 30 fps and uh, the aspect ratio of the cut scenes are set in 16:9 to 9, so i will also be fixing that uh, so yeah this is going to be interesting also a little bit uh, longer than expected let's start this video without any delay first of all i am using this uh, games dlss mode if you can switch to the upscaler or super sampling preset you can see this game already have fsr3 but there is no frame generation option like you can set fsr3 to quality uh, you can come back uh, it's okay -ish. the image quality is a little worse than dlss but uh, yeah there is no frame generation and right now i'm playing it on 1080p medium here as you can see uh, the quality preset says medium i'm just using this medium preset with fsr3 and dlss3 and i'm getting around only 30 30 40 fps depending on some scenarios so yeah let's install the mod now so first we will quit the game all right now after quitting uh, we will be needing these files uh, here and there you can see one two two three files here and there uh, this is the fps unlocker slash the cutscene fps fix Uh, this is the fsr3 mod so first we will uh, try to install the fsr3 mod so we're going to extract this zip here then if you go inside we will find the engine.ini so what we need to do is replace the game's engine.ini to do that just uh, put aside this folder go to your start menu or search menu type in percentage app data percentage then click on enter you can also do this by running the run menu or the windows plus r key so you can do this in the search bar or the run menu uh, whichever you want for opening the app data uh, you will need to go one step back like this uh, this app data after that you need to go to local and you will find silent hill 2 here press s on your keyboard there it is silent hill 2 after that saved config windows and in here you will find the engine.ini this one we need to replace so you can just delete it or uh, cut it and save key but uh, there is no need to really save key with this because uh, every time you run the game uh, it will generate a additional engine.ini so yeah there is no need to save key just delete it uh, after that uh, we will paste this one we are going to copy this and paste it here now this is the easiest way now you can just run the game and the fsr3 will work now if you are an advanced user i want to show you some more things like this is the pc gaming wiki page of uh, silent hill 2 if you see here you will see it says by this method you can add the fsr3 frame generation if you want to open the engine.ini file and come to the end of the text you will find it that this is the additional text we just added and made it another file So if you want to do any more things such as removing the chromatic aberration or the chromatic abomination some youtuber says the widget effect the widget sorry and the variable rate shading nvidia ray reconstruction for the rtx chip users all you need to do is just uh, copy these lines and paste it below uh, this one like this is the engine.ini we just pasted this is the not games stock engine.ini so you need to paste my stick uh, my modded engine.ini and then just uh, do whatever you want to do from this page i will link this page in the description you can just copy this and just uh, add this but yeah, i won't be doing uh, these two things i'm just adding this frame generation for now on after uh, you are done you can just click on file and save then we will proceed to make the cutscene fps fix for that we will need to extract this fps unlocker so we're going to extract it after extracting we're going to copy this whole three file this is just readme file you can copy it or not copy it doesn't matter so after copying we're going to go to the installation directory of this game 
for me which is uh, here I think yeah so after that silent l2 sh proto binaries win64 and in here you need to copy these three files we just copied this is the whole process of fixing the cinematic fps and accept ratio and the fs adding the fsr 3 in game now i will dive back into the game and show you a few things and talk about a few things so yeah let's dive into the game now get silent l2 offline activation at just 250 indian rupees along with all the new and old games and windows 10 and 11 serial key the stock is limited so hurry all right uh, we are back inside the game and you can see fps is still around the same that's because we are using the dlss and to make the fg slash the frame generation work we will need to use the dlss so yeah go to setting then video and graphics scroll down here and from dlss we just want to switch to the fsr 3 and preset is totally up to you so i'm gonna use the fsr 3 balanced one in this case uh, and if i come back and, and there we go now you can see the fps has boosted from 39 38 to 74 70 yeah and the fg is fully working but still there are some little bit uh, ghosting around the texture uh, and some maybe uh, hood flickering issue i have not played this game so i am not uh, sure if this game has any more issues or not uh, but also one more thing i want to tell that if you face any uh, crashing issue during the cutscenes try to remove the ps unlocker mode of the cutscene which uh, we just pasted earlier uh, but yeah for now uh, this is working perfectly as you can see on your screen so yeah this will be it for this video uh, now if this works uh, consider subscribing to the channel and like the video for the youtube algorithm so if you like the video uh, you will see more of this kind of video like more fsr 3 or more frame generation video in your feed uh, i hope uh, many of you know that but uh, for those who don't know i just told you so yeah feel free to like it and don't forget to join the discord if you want cheap games and windows key and everything and so i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers